everyone. Welcome to Pip Coding. I hope you all are doing good. Today, we are going to see about a topic of SETP services. Without any delay, we can move on to the topic. Okay. In the first video, we completed the introduction part. Right. Now, we are moving to the SETP services. Today's topic is SETP services. In the SETP services, we have process to process communication, multiple streams, multi homing, full duplex communication, connection oriented services, and reliable services. Right? These are the things I am going to cover in this video. First, process to process communication. Well, the, it is like uh, we are using SETP in the most of the time for the real time applications. Like, uh, for if, while we are transferring the videos, audios, in those times we are using SETPs, right? And then in telephony and signaling. The main use of SETP in the real time example is telephony. In the telephony, we are using uh, SETP processes only with the help of these protocols. These are the port number of those protocols. You just go, go through this uh, particular tagger column, right? This is all about process to process communication. Okay, process to process communication. Next, we can move on to the multiple streams. Okay, next, we can move on to the multiple streams. The second topic is multiple streams. Multiple streams. Act okay, actually, in TCP, while we are sending the information, if one particular information is blocked, that we know that in TCP, we are going to send the data uh, like bytes, right? If one particular byte is blocked, then the remaining all the bytes are going to be blocked, okay? Uh, it is okay while we are sending the text. But if we are transferring the audios or videos, it, uh, we can't wait for those uh, streams, right? So, in the multiple streams, we are going to split out the multiple streams and we are going to send the information through them. If one particular information is blocked, the information that are coming after those particular information, they will not get disturbed, they will not get interrupted, they are going in their parts. I will explain with one real-time example, then it will be easy. Okay, this is our LAN. Okay. Uh, it is the example for TCP. Okay, this is an example for TCP and this is an example for SCTP. Okay, fine. In, in this row, if we are, if there is any accident in the particular place, then the whole block is, that is the whole road is going to be blocked, right? If there are some other vehicles that are come after this particular block, they will not they can't move after this, okay? They can't move after this. It will be blocked here itself, right? But here, if we are having the multiple lands, if there is any particular accident or block that happened in this particular land, but the vehicles that are in this land, it is not going to be disturbed. That will be on the airway only. Like this land, they will be on the airway only. If we have any accidents or blocks here, these only one land is going to be affected. The other lands will can move on their parts without any disturbance, right? This is multiple streams, okay? This is all about multiple streams. The, in this multiple services, yeah, we have, there is a one keyword in SCDP, we are going to call it as an association. Multiple services, we are going to call it as an association, okay? This is all about multiple streams. I hope you understood what is multiple streams. This is the diagram. If the data that are going in this stream is blocked, then this stream, it can uh, process like their way. It is not interrupted while this particular block is getting interruptions, right? This is about a second topic, multiple streams, right? Then we can, we can move on to the multiple home, okay? Multiple home. Okay. Uh, what is the problem with TCP? Yes, if one particular um, we are having client and services, right? 
if the particular client is having uh, n number of physical addresses that is uh, ip addresses the tcp is going to use the tcp is going to use only one ip address okay there are multiple ip addresses but it, it is going to use only one ip addresses while we while we are coming to sctp the sctp is go if we are having the n number of ips it is going to use that multi addresses that is the association part right we know that what is an association it is multi services in those word in sctp we are going to define that that as an association right okay TCP, we are using only one IP addresses, but in the multi homing, we can use the multi addresses, those who are, it will be used in the uh, client or services, right? For example, if we are having, for the single client, we are having the two IP addresses, but we are using the both IP addresses, right? The server is going to get an IP4 here, then the server is going to get an IP2 here, right? This is about the multi-homing. I hope you clear, right? Then we completed our third topic. Next one is full duplex communications, okay? Uh, full duplex communi uh, communication is nothing but like TCP, SETP offers full duplex communication. When the data can flow in the both the directions in the same line, okay? At the same time, we can... Uh, do we can the data can move from the client to the server and from the server to the client it is about the full duplex communication right mm -hmm. then the connection oriented services the connection oriented services follows three phases okay first the two sctps establish an association between each other we know what is an association is that right then the data are exchanged in both the directions that i said in the full duplex right the association is terminated once the information is uh, the particular process is completed then the association will get terminated right this is all about connection oriented services this is uh, this is because we are calling the sctp is connection oriented services right then reliable services i already told you that sctp is a reliable service right uh, it uses an acknowledgement mechanism to check the safe and the sound arrival of the data okay it is checking the acknowledgement statements um, i will explain the reliable services deeply in, while in the control uh, that is in the um error control okay while while we are seeing the error control i will explain what is the reliable services is right this is all about sctp services that is process to process communication multi streams multi homing full duplex communication connection oriented services and reliable services right we completed our second topic okay i hope you understand the video thank you for watching have a nice day